Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Somebody sent me this. I tried to find the original picture. They they don't want to. They don't own this. They don't want to uh, use it because it's copyrighted. But they wanted to know how they kind of got this effect. And it's like a shadow underneath his chin. And I'm the first one to admit I am not a graphic artist, but I have learned some things through the year. So you can't do anything with a picture. You've got to have vector. So I took this pretty clear. You can see it's still fuzzy, but pretty clear and traced it and recolored it. And I'm just going to kind of play with it. So what we're going to do, we're going to take this area right here. I'm going to get, take the three-point curve line, and I'm going to make a curve right here. Now, I'm going to take my Smart Fill tools, set on a gray. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to left-click, right-click, and then I'm going to go to Effects and Contour. I'm going to contour the inside 0.04. Now, it did it some up here, but I really just need this. So I'm going to nudge it over. And then I can left click and turn it white. And then I'm going to nudge it back to my original. And there you're going, well, Doug, that doesn't look like the original. You know, that's pretty just white. Well, go up to effects and blur and gussy and blur it. And make it a little bit more. And it basically just kind of kind of blended into the gray. I think that looks pretty good. And and then say okay. Now the other one had a like a line in it, even on top of that. And I'm not saying I can duplicate what the, whoever do this is, uh, idea. But let's just take the three point curve line. Let's go from about right here to right here and kind of give it a curve. And also the original. Let's make it something thicker than a hairline. It might be a little bit too thick. And let's make it, well, let's don't make it white yet. The original actually had some uh, like dots underneath it. So let's, let's do this. You can always do this to make some dots. We need more than that or broken parts of the line. By if you put a line there, it's going to stop that line. But they're still together, so if we move this, it'll still move. And then we can move it over to our bear or hippopotamus and make it white by right clicking. And see it kind of it kind of blends into that other one, so it's it's almost a little bit the other one's overpowering. But you could also blur this just a little bit by effect. And it's not going to bring the bottom part up, but um, it'll kind of blend that less. That's pretty good. That looks pretty good. Now, you can't see the other part. And you could always use the transparency tool if the whole thing is too strong, just transparent a little bit. And it'll... Evidently, I just have that line, so let's back up here. Let me let me grab the, there's the bigger one, I guess, and make it a little transparent if it's too stout. There we go. Now you can kind of see my dotted line pretty much like the picture. And I could have taken some more time and stuff like that. Now, shadow. You know, like the original picture has some shadow or darkness on his foot. So I'm just going to take the, and the reason I'm going to take the three-point curve line, the reason I'm using um, this line art, because I can see it. I can see what I'm going to do before I do anything. And now I'm going to take the Smart Fill tool, and I'm going to grab the eyedropper, and I'm going to get that color, and I'm going to put it in there, and I'm going to move it over to my graphic, and look what it did. Now, if we wanted to, you know, a little bit more right there, like it is in here, just take a two-point line or, or, I love the three-point curve line because uh, you could actually do this just a little bit. Take the Smart Fill tool. Now, their Smart Fill still has the same color as previous, so we can just fill that in. And if you wanted to put that color on the other side, you could just uh, group it all. Whoop, don't want to mess up that. You could grab all this, control D and mirror it, and then just 
put it over here. And if you want it on both sides and, and make one maybe a little bit more transparent. Now, as far as putting the shadow underneath the chin, let's just add that. Let's take the, uh, now the three point curve line will not go this far. It's gonna look like that, but we could take the shape tool now and you can actually back these arrows back and they'll be like that. Now we've still got that same color loaded in the smart fill tool. So you've got a little bit of shadow underneath him, underneath his chin, much like they put a on both sides. Um, and they have a little bit more on that one. Look, that one goes through his toenail. Uh, that's pretty cool. Let's do that. See if that works. Um, see, that is actually a blank spot. So let's take the, and nudge it over, and nudge it over. That looks pretty cool. Anyway, these are maybe a little bit strong, but you know, you could always take the, the transparency and, and make it a little bit more transparent. I'm, I'm basically on that line again. I don't really need the line to be transparent. I need, yeah, you can always move it out of the way, see what, which one you have. And then we could use the transparency on it and make it a little bit less. Because you probably wouldn't want them both the same anyway. Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.